What is good, Ape Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock, what you should be looking out for for the future. I'm also going to be talking about something very important for AMC when it comes to the squeeze and talk about another strategy that can help people make a little bit more money when it comes to the sell plan. Now, before I break any of this down, before I talk about how this could actually uh, impact the squeeze and other things like that, I do have to mention a couple of things real quick, right? Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. And not only benefits me, it benefits the entire ape community as a whole. And the last things, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link down below and in the description. Now, I do know that Weeble uses payment for order flow. Please hear me out when I say this, because with Weeble, you could get some free AMC shares for your different brokerage accounts. And the way this works is if you sign up with my link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed six free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And you could always sell these six free stocks for cash and use that cash to buy some AMC shares for free. And this limited time offer that ends in just four days. So please check it out before they run out with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at amc i just wanted to make a very quick video to remind you guys of the brackets but then tell you something else that's interesting okay so like i mentioned in previous videos if amc were to have this short squeeze event and shorts start to cover the hundreds of millions, if not billions of synthetics that they artificially printed to short AMC and all of these synthetics they sold to us, right? They have to cover them. But in one of my previous videos, I calculated there to be around close to 1.5 to 2 billion of these synthetics. And on top of that, the majority of retail do not want to sell for those low prices. So the truth is, if retail keeps holding as long as possible, theoretically, the share price would go higher, right? We know that it would go higher because we're not selling everything for these low numbers. We're willing to sell for higher numbers. But the problem is, and I wanted to reiterate this, is it becomes risky, it becomes riskier. It becomes extremely risky because not everyone is going to be able to sell for $100,000. That money doesn't exist. But that's why we use the geometric mean sequence to help us understand why on average the average share price that people sell for could actually make that possible and i'm going to show you how it looks like basically imagine a bell shape it looks kind of like this actually let me do this first hold on it looks like this right some sell like this others sell like this and then a few could sell for these high numbers and then the majority we get more sell orders just like this, just for example, right? The bell people talk about in the geometric mean sequence. So a lot of apes are going to sell for these numbers. Many will, may sell for these numbers. Many could sell for higher numbers, and some may be able to sell for extremely high numbers. On average, the average share price of AMC that's covered ends up actually being lower for the shorts if a lot of people are actually selling in these low ranges. Now, what I wanted to talk about is people talk about how, oh, we all have to hold on to our shares for this thing to go to these extreme values, but there's a risk involved in doing that. Am I telling you to sell at any price? No. I want to inform you that it's risky to do that because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know. I, I personally believe that between like 500 bucks and a thousand bucks, you're, you're fine. You're safe. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. One to 2000 is low risk and so on and so forth. It becomes riskier as we go up. But the problem with trying to hold everything is, and maybe sell everything for like 25,000 or you hope to get it for a hundred thousand a share. You don't know if it's going to peak at 90,000. We don't know if it's going to peak at 24,000. We don't know exactly where it's going to peak at. So I would recommend if you are going to sell, you should, I think it's a good idea to sell in increments on the way up, but what you could try is sell a little bit on the way up and sell more at these higher values if you want to try that, right? That's, that's a-okay with me. That's totally fine. And that could still be very, very profitable too when it comes to this AMC squeeze situation. So what does this mean? Another strategy that can make even more money is when a person wants to sell, and I'm not telling you to do this, you sell like 5% between, I don't know, zero and 250 maybe. You sell another 5% between 500 and 1,000, then another 5% here, then 10%, 20 to 30%, 
like another 20 to 30 percent you save the last five percent for these like extremely high values right just for example so what this means is when it comes to this thing squeezing higher which a lot of people are going to hold for i just want to make it clear that it's going to be tricky we don't know if the sec is going to get involved and stop it at like five thousand or ten thousand we've seen stocks hit 500 billion dollar market caps and so on and so forth so for amc's on paper market cap to hit for every share to hit a thousand dollars we can achieve that definitely for two thousand dollars it would require around a one trillion dollar market cap not accounting for synthetics also possible but these really high numbers it becomes trickier and all shares won't be reaching those exact same values as some will sell at these lower levels so what i'm just what i'm trying to say it's risky but you could strategize by just selling some on the way up and trying to sell a little bit more at these like bigger values and selling just the last few or just keeping a, a couple for the absolute moon so you you, you save a couple for a hundred thousand i mean i'm gonna hold some of my shares just for that but not all of them because that's crazy that's risky we don't know where it's going to peak at so that's essentially what i wanted to say in this video so what you what you should do is write down everything on a piece of paper open a google doc or a word a document and what you could do is calculate where you want to start selling you need to figure that out yourself and all i'm doing is informing you that it's risky it becomes more risky as we go up and one strategy is you sell a little bit on the way up sell more around those medium values and you sell a lot once we get to those like higher values maybe like whatever value you're really thinking of i mean no one truly knows which is why it's it's risky no one knows where the peak will be and you save a few maybe your last 10 20 depending on how many shares you have for these extremely risky and high values. I mean, it's okay to just save some for that. And that could be huge. But like I said before, saving everything for these extremely high values, that's extremely risky. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if you're even going to get executed. It's going to be a disaster. So anyways, anyways, it is possible for you to sell some of your shares for this high value, definitely. But remember to stick to those limit orders. Be prepared for anything. I heard someone else once state that it, it may not be a bad idea to have someone else do it for you, like one of your family members, because it, it could be very emotional, very risky, very tricky. And when this thing eventually pops, whether the next run-up is just a typical run-up or if it leads to the MOAS, it is going to be insane in my opinion. It's all still on the table. With that said and done, please you could even write down these brackets if you want. I mean, it's really up to you. I'm not giving financial advice. You don't have to buy or hold any AMC shares. It's really just your own personal decision. I'm not forcing you to do that. No one's forced to do it. And with that out of the way, I want to thank you all for listening. So please, please, please remember this. Remember the strategy. Once again, you, you sell a couple on the way up. Maybe you sell 10, 20% on the way up for some of these low values. You sell more around this mid level, maybe the last like 50 to 60%, and you save the last 10%, maybe 5%, whatever. It's up to you to figure it out for the high, high values. So that's just one strategy. There are many other strategies out there. Remember the limit orders and remember to not sell at these exact values. So you don't want to sell for 500, for instance, you would want to sell at like $449.98 just to be safe. Instead of like 5,000, you would put 4,940 something, just for example. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. I wish the best for each and every one of you. And I will definitely see you guys in the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.